One of the best things about teaching English for me is definitely doing constant research. Researching always ignites my curiosity and it is my curiosity that leads me to create and write up different stories on how I can explain things better every time. Through researching, I learn and when I learn, I love to share it. And I guess that's why I'm here. Today, I chose to talk about the days of the week and its pronunciation. Now, you may think, how easy. It's so basic. Why is Ella doing this? But as I said, I love doing research on the words. And I want to share it with you guys. Because every single word has its own meaning. When you do further research, a story comes out. And it is those stories that fascinate me. And it is that story that makes these words memorable and that language beautiful. Remember, every language has its own words, stories, meanings and history that comes with its own unique melody and tone. And these words are connected to roots. If you research the root of the word, that is when things get really interesting and the stories come out. If you want to study the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history, look at etymology. Etymology is the study of root words. So the first time I heard of the word etymology was in 2006. I was working as a graphic designer in Istanbul and oh, as you know, my background is in design. And a friend of mine at work, she was a bookworm, she was a journalist, and she was always looking up different words. And she told me about etymology. And at that time, you know, I was learning Turkish. So I was always trying to make a connection with the two languages. So etymology for me helped me a lot along the way. And I found it just fascinating how the root of the word was just connected to such history and the different cultures. I also want to add, if we studied more etymology in the English language, we would definitely learn more words easily and more importantly, remember them. Because etymology shows you the root of the word and its connection. That's why I'm a strong believer that etymology should be taught in schools and universities when learning English. Oh, I have so much to say about this, but I'll leave it for another time. Okay, let's get back to the days of the week now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And which preposition do we use with the days of the week? On. So, on Monday, on Tuesday, we spell Tuesday as T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, but the pronunciation is ch, Tuesday. Wednesday, we spell it as W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y, but the pronunciation is with a Z and the D is silent. Wednesday. Thursday. Again, T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y, but we pronounce the S like a Z. Thursday. Friday. On Saturday. Saturday. S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y, but the U-R comes out as U. Uh, Saturday. And on Sunday. So when I decided to talk about the seven days for this podcast, actually, I was just going to teach the pronunciation of the days, right? Till I thought, well, where did these days of the week come from? Why is Monday Monday? And that's when I did further research. So listen to what I found out. 
The Babylonians named the days after the five planetary bodies known to them. So after the sun and moon, which is Sunday and Monday, so from Tuesday through Saturday, they named it after the planets. So moon, Monday, Mars, Tuesday, Mercury, Wednesday, Jupiter, Thursday, Venus, Friday, Saturn, Saturday, and Sun, Sunday. And this custom was later adopted by the Romans. So Emperor Constantine established the seven-day week in the Roman calendar in 321 and designated Sunday and Monday as the first two days of the week. So the other weekday names in English derived from Anglo-Saxon names for gods in Teutonic mythology. So the days of the week all have either Roman, Anglo-Saxon or Norse origins. Now let's take a closer look at where the words came from and the meaning behind it. So Sunday was named after the Roman god of the sun. And because the sun gave people light and warmth every day, they decided to name the first or the last day of the week after the sun, which I think is beautiful. Okay, Monday, named after the moon, who in Norse tradition was the goddess of hunting. And the moon was thought to be very important in the lives of the people and their crops. Tuesday was named after the Norse god of war, Tiu, T-I-W, who dressed like an Anglo-Saxon warrior and carried a battle axe. So he was known for his sense of justice, Tuesday. Wednesday was named after Woden or Odin or Woden, as they say, who was a Norse god known as the most powerful of them all, Wednesday. Thursday was named after the god of thunder, Thor, Thor's day. He dressed like a warrior and carried a bolt of lightning, Thor's day, turned into Thursday. Friday is named after the wife of Odin. So some scholars say her name was Frigg or Freya, and she was known to be the Roman goddess of love and beauty. So that's where Friday comes from. But remember, if we go back to the planets, Friday means Venus, and Venus represents love and beauty. Saturday was named after the planet Saturn, but Saturn was also a Roman god named Saturn, who represented the god of fun and feasting. Maybe that's why Saturday is a weekend. Because weekends are always fun, right? <laughs> and we have come to the end of another Ella Style English podcast. I hope that was interesting for you because it sure was interesting for me. Not only did you learn the pronunciation of the seven days, now you know where the names of the days come from. So make sure you share the story with your friends and family. Remember, the more we share, the more we learn from each other. That's it from me for today. Don't forget to subscribe and comment on our episode. I would love to hear your thoughts. Till next time. Bye.